Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing popping cooking and if you remember about 5 years ago I kind of did a popping cooking episode as well so if you guys don't know what popping cooking is it's really magical it's kind of like you just put all these powders together mix it with water put it in trays and then magically like miniature tiny little food appears and you can actually eat it so I've got this box here with me and I'm trying to figure out what it is because it's all in Japanese so obviously I can't read it but I think Okay, the tempura, it's like a shrimp tempura, that's pretty obvious. This looks like an omelette and then this one is just completely confusing because it looks just like some kind of like a jelly pudding or sponge cake, I don't know. The instructions are all in Japanese over here. It's in English as well, you have the recipe that's in English. Okay, so I'm gonna open it now. Oh, so cute! It's inside here. They say you have to cut all these sides. Oh, this is the... I got it! This is the plate! See, you're supposed to cut it out. Let's see what the instructions say. First thing is to... Whoa! What? Wow, oh, this is really difficult eh. It's all like in very very complicated looking Japanese text. You know what? I give up. I'm gonna try to get the English instructions. Yay! Oh my god, English feels so good. The first thing we're supposed to do is to cut away this, which is the water tray. Cut it across like that. Mix three measuring cups of water into the omelette mold and then add in the omelette mix. And it actually says here that it takes 10 minutes to set. I'm supposed to mix it 50 times. So one Two, three. How to count, yeah? Oh no, it kind of looks like corn soup, like lumpy corn soup. So I'm just gonna go to the next step now, which is to make the French fries. I am just supposed to pour one measuring cup of water into this mixing tray here. I think it's pretty well mixed. Oh, this. Ah, no! Okay, nothing happened. I'm fine. This entire thing I'm supposed to put into here, I guess. And then I'm supposed to remove the corners gently from the mold and place the French fries on the cutting board. Look at cutting board! It looks like there's a cutting board. Maybe it's here. Ah, it's here lah! What a lao eh! Lucky I didn't throw this piece of paper away oh. I'm gonna put them on my chopping board. Next, I'm supposed to make the shrimp. So what I'm supposed to do is to pour in one measuring cup of water into the tray and pour it in. I'm supposed to mix it 50 times this time. I love how they are so specific. Can you imagine they had a group of like Japanese people just sort of, you know, sitting around and counting the um, correct amount of times to mix it before it's perfect. Ooh, this one is a bit more sticky than the other one. So I'm just supposed to put it into the shrimp tray. Just squeeze it in, it says. Let's see whether it will end up perfectly in the spot. Wow, wow, wow. It's like freaking perfect. Oh. Freaking Japanese, man. So next is going to be the part where I make the chicken rice. And so mystery is solved. It's not a pudding. It's apparently chicken rice. I don't know why it's supposed to be pink. Okay, here we go. Putting it in. Get it? Pudding it in. Although it's not pudding. After I mix it, I'm supposed to knead it 30 times, squeezing it with your palm. Place it in the tray. And this one doesn't need any time to set apparently. You can just take it out. Okay lah, I think pass lah, can lah. But definitely does not look like chicken rice or oh, please. Next, I'm supposed to make the ketchup. Add in two measuring cups of water and mix it well with the spoon. Wow, it really looks like ketchup, oh my god. Step number seven is to make the meatballs. Add in the meatball mix and stir until well mixed, okay. Really smells like chocolate. Meatball it into a meatball. Oh, it really looks like a meatball, oh my god. Next step is to remove my omelette that has been lovingly sitting here for a really long time. It's just not easy to remove. This is not easy. I feel like I'm ruining it. As you guys can see, it's very, very watery still. I'm supposed to put the candy to make the peas and stuff. This looks like a very, very hideous seashell. Hey, what the? It just... Oh no, it all came out. The omelette is the worst. Two meatballs here. Oh, the fries look good, man. So next thing I'm supposed to do is to create the batter mix for the shrimp. Wow, it really looks like tempura flour. Next, I'm supposed to remove the shrimp from the mold. Dip it into this powder first. It says, as the candy sputters, do not put your face too close. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it by the tail and dip it in the water. Oh, look, it does appear a little bit whiter now. Oh my god, it did sputter. Oh my god. Wow, it's really popping cooking. Really gives you the feeling that you are kind of like deep frying the prawn. The sputtering is a really, 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 really good touch to this. It really makes it feel very, very authentic. So I'm done with my little stream here. It's so cute. I love it. It actually does look like it's fried. And then I'm supposed to add in my ketchup. It smells like, yeah, really like strawberry jam. 
Okay, it looks like a very, very creepy face. Somehow I'm drawing it upside down so I have no idea how it looks on the other side. Only one final step left and that is to put these flags on top of my chicken rice. And then the flags are supposed to go in the middle. Aha! Finished! Oh, I'm so proud of my little new baby! I guess I'll try eating it later after I finish the other box, so let's start with that. Alright, so I've got this box here with me and I really, really like it. I think it's like a carnival, sort of like a festival kind of theme because you have food that's like bananas with dipped in chocolate and candy and then you have french fries and then you have this corn which I think is so cute and also apparently you have this thing that looks like a plunger thing that is probably a candy apple. Yeah, but it definitely looks a lot more like a plunger. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So same thing, we have the box with a lot of designs here. I'm supposed to put it lying down, I guess. Oh, this is the piece of paper for the fry. Okay, so we've got all our stuff here. I think I will do the same thing, which is to cut the box for the water. So first thing I'm supposed to do is to make the candy apples. And it says that I'm supposed to put two of these little cups of water mix it i think 30 times it says wow it smells very nice it does smell like apple pour it into this two little holes here so the next thing i'm supposed to do is to mix in the yellow for the fries with one cup of water so i guess i just have to sort of press it in all right so now that i'm done with my fries i'm moving on to making the corn this is the corn you're supposed to roll it until it hits this size cut it in half i'm just supposed to pour all these into this little tray here and now I'm ready to roll Oh my god, it's so terrible I'm so sad It does not look like a corn It looks terrible, terrible, terrible Yuck I'm really really disappointed because this did not go the way that I expected it would The corn looks like shit I think the problem is that this thing is just not sticky enough Ah yeah, whatever lah Okay lah, done Done, done, done Okay, so next step, bananas, two cups of water and banana powder. <laughs> it really smells like bananas, for real. Put banana one, two and three into the mold. So chocolate mixture is supposed to be done here with one cup of water. Okay, let's mix it up. Oh my god, it really became chocolate. Wow, it's freaking legit lah. Ah, so banana eat. And then I'm supposed to just sort of coat it. So I will place it here. Coat banana number two. Yay! Oh, this is cute! I like it. Okay, done with banana number three. What am I supposed to do next? Okay, take out my candy apple. Put my candy apple here. Plunger apple. My corn is here. And then my fries. I'm supposed to wrap my fries. Wow, looks quite real. Okay, finish! I would say that I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I originally thought that we would be able to construct a kind of like a little box where we can put in all the food, you know, so it looks more 3D. But instead, it's on this piece of paper, which I feel doesn't really have the feeling of a carnival. Of all the things here, I think the little bananas look the best. But of course, the corn is a major disappointment. Does not look like corn at all. So now that everything is done, I've got Dash here with me and to see whether I can trick him into I'm eating it. No, you're not. I'm Xiaxue. Now we're going to see his reaction to the tiny little food. I don't think I'll manage to convince him to eat anything because... <coughs> Yo because he's very very fussy about what he puts into his mouth but he will like it that it's very miniature so let's see what he says Dash, what is this? I want ice cream You want ice cream? Which one is the ice cream? Is this ice cream? Okay, okay You want to take... Shh. You want to take the ice cream? Nah Chocolate Chocolate ice cream Mama, take out the, the colours I'll take out the colours <laughs> So he likes chocolate, but he doesn't like the rainbow candies. You tell me what is this first. What's this? French fries. Is it baby french fries or regular size french fries? Regular size french fries. Are you sure? <laughs> it's not regular size. It's so small. Look. How about this? What is this? A corn. Oh, it's a corn. Okay, he knows it's a corn. Yay. Not that fail after all. What is this? What is this? Cherry. Oh, cherry. Okay. What do you want to eat? The cherry. You want to eat the cherry? Okay, you go ahead and eat the cherry. Why do kids don't like to eat rainbow rice one? To make sense. Nah, finish the cup already. Nah. You want chocolate? Yeah. Oh, don't put it. No, no, no. Oh, it dropped. Okay, Mama is going to eat the fried prawn. Okay? It tastes like 
orange gummy. Not a fan of this. I guess it tastes like orange toothpaste. I'm gonna try to eat this this cherry, okay? Can Mama eat the cherry? No. Huh? Okay lah, never mind Mama eat, okay? No, okay. Uh -huh. Let me eat it. Okay, how about I just... Tastes like just bad jelly, I guess. Like really, really cheap jelly. Hey, you lost the thing! Lost my toothpaste. You didn't lose it, you dropped it on the floor purposely. Can I eat the corn? Yeah. It's not bad, eh? Yeah, it's good. Yummy. Okay, so I'm not gonna continue tasting the rest because I think they all taste the same after a while. It's just... Why? It's just like candy, all candy, kind of artificial candy but different texture. So I wouldn't say it makes for a very yummy meal or anything like that. But overall, you know, the whole popping cooking I experience is quite nice. So I know a lot of you guys love popping cooking, so I hope you enjoyed watching the episode. It is very very cute and it was something fun to do. Can you say download the Click Network app? Say loud. Download the Click Network app. Don't need to stay until so weird. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching. And of course, like he said, remember to download the Kick Network app. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!